Hey guys, Doug here, Spooky Villages. How's it going? I have a special review for you today, and actually it's my last Halloween building of 2017. Yes, if you saw my uh, news video the other day, uh, just kind of as an update, as soon as we get past uh, Halloween, I'm going to be doing, uh, for the next two months, uh, November, December, I'll be doing harvest and Christmas buildings. Once 2018 rolls around, I'll be back to Halloween stuff, especially when the companies start announcing their new stuff for next year. But I'm going to take a brief holiday detour. So back to today's review. Again, this is a special one. This is the old house on Corn Row by Crypt31, and the actual series is the Creepyville series. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, what is Crypt31? It's a small company uh, that started by uh, enthusiast Joe Porter, and um, he's been a, a pretty hardcore, you know, villager, and he was frustrated that the big companies weren't offering certain buildings that he wanted, so he just started building them, and he decided to make a small company out of it. So, last year he launched uh, his Creepyville series, uh, Series 1, of which uh, this house, the old house in Corn Row, was a part of, and started taking orders for him. And as I'm talking here, you can see some of the other buildings in the Series 1. Now, each of these is totally handmade. Clay, wood, various materials, everything is done by Joe. The paint, uh, the lighting, all the electrical work, uh, all done by Joe. So each Crypt 31 piece, even if there are several out there, each one is individual because it's handmade. So, so again, even though if they're similar, there are small differences. Now what jumped out at me when I saw the lineup was the old house on Corn Row. If you guys have watched some of my other videos, you can probably get that I am big into spooky farms. And up until this point, there really doesn't exist uh, from any of the big companies a really good farmhouse. Now, I know there are several farmhouses, but there are various reasons I'm really not big on them. Either they're too small, they're too kind of dull, uh, the lighting isn't good. You know, there are just various reasons why I don't think there's been a really, really good one done yet. So this jumped out at me. So you can see here, this is what it, uh, what it came in, you know, the box. Not only does he have, a, you know, his own boxes for him, he's got a brochure that it comes with, and it goes over the whole Series 1. It's not a molded foam that he packs them in, but there's still plenty of foam in there, and it's very well protected, and it came out in this little bag like this. The first thing that jumped out at me, I could not believe the size of this thing. I guess I'm so used to the houses being really small that to have a big house like this, it was like, holy cow. And that's not a negative. The building fits in perfect with Limax and Department 56 pieces. Joe designs all of his pieces to fit in villages like that, so you don't have to worry, um, you know, about these things looking like they need to be on their own displays, nothing like that. You can see here what it looks like in my display, actually. Yeah, so it's this big farmhouse, scales really, really well, especially with like these figures that I have outside here, and the quality just blew me away. Again, I expected something good, but I, you know, you never really know until you get them. All the details look so cool, all the way around the house too. It's not just the front of it. Everywhere he's got little details. I love the cellar on the back. You know, the front porch swing uh, is an actual, you know, it's hanging there by little chains. And the coolest detail, and he says that he did this uh, special for me because he knew it was going to be in a farm uh, setting. He kind of went a little uh, crazier on the um, the stalks of corn, and it, it looks so awesome. Again, it, this is an amazing looking building. So when I decided to place my order, I asked Joe, hey, do you think you could do this with red lighting inside instead of the yellow? I know it was designed with yellow in mind, and uh, the previous couple he's built had yellow. And he said, sure, we'll try it. And uh, again, I said, uh, you know, the red or even a blue, something like that, just something different that maybe set it off, maybe give it that children in the corn, you know, extra spooky look. So Joe actually did both. Uh, he lit the front of it with red, and the uh, side here is blue. And these are LEDs, so they're bright. It looks so good. I can't believe it turned out as well as it did with the lighting. I was a little worried, you know, even though I said to do it, you never know how it's going to turn out exactly because, you know, oh, is it going to be like a Christmas house or something, you know, with the red light? And it looks awesome. It, it came out so, so well. It looks like some real supernatural stuff is going down, like, uh, like in a poltergeist type way. The red is very ominous for a farmhouse too, especially with like the dead corn outside. It's just, uh, it's perfect, really. It's, it's a perfect dilapidated old farmhouse that's got a great size to it. This is a standout piece. I'm really glad I purchased this. Again, there are not many of these out there. He only built a few of these uh, old corn row houses this year, or just in general, he built, you know, not a ton of his stuff because people are still finding out uh, about his work. And i um, so, so happy that I got one and that it was customized, uh, you know, to my liking even, a little even more so than the standard one was. Just what a great building, what a cool theme and he did a great job. Again, I give it a 10 out of 10. It's it's an amazing house. I'm so, so happy that uh, I have this in my collection. I'm looking forward to displaying this every year. The other thing with Crypt 31, the prices are reasonable and you're getting to support another fanatic. And I think that's a win-win for me. 
If you're interested in this or any of the houses, uh, Crypt31.com is his website, and I'll, I'll put the link here uh, in the video description. But also, uh, but you can also see he's on Facebook, Etsy. He's easy to find, and he's planning on relaunching Crypt31 on July 31st uh, next year. That's right around the time you know that Lee Max and uh, Department 56 are in full swing of Halloween. So he's he's wanting to get in on that and release then. He's also going to be working in the meantime. Um, to have some inventory so like as of last year you had to uh, you know custom order each building and he would build it after then so it took a little time he's hoping to build up some inventory he's going to have a series one buildings which i've shown off here and that you can you know find on his website now but he's also working on series two for next year and this is a picture of one of the prototypes little house big pumpkin which is really cool just a small house with a gigantic jack-o-lantern and uh, I can guarantee you're gonna you're gonna find a review of that on this channel next year because I love that theme so check them out crypt31.com I know he's planning to go big next year and hopefully the word is out there a little bit more I know I'm looking forward to uh, placing some orders with him next year as well all right guys thank you so much for watching and also since this is my last Halloween building review of this year I just want to thank you guys uh, as always for all the support it's been fun doing this I'm looking forward to doing some holiday buildings here in the next couple months just to kind of uh, you know cleanse the palette and talk about some cool buildings and then I can come back and hit it hard once the Halloween stuff starts being announced in January so again thank you guys and have a very very happy Halloween